Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading Capricorn, I want to give you guys a quick update. It's brought, um, it has been brought to our attention that we have a lot of fakes out there on social media creating profiles or pages pretending to be me. Um, if you come across those accounts, I highly encourage you guys to report them so that they could be completely shut down. Uh, I've had other people let me, you know, tell me and communicate with me that they made payments for services thinking they were dealing with me. So again, I'm trying to prevent you guys from, you know, trusting uh, people that are fakes, they're scammers, and just, you know, trying to uh, get some type of uh, compensation for services that they're not providing. So again, be careful with that. I encourage you guys to report those accounts. Now, I've been noticing here on my channel, we've been getting a lot of spammers in the comments. If you come across any of those comments of people trying to lure you to go into a different site or to try to get you to get a service or something, they are in no way, shape or form affiliated with me. So report those comments. I was so annoyed. I was thinking of just completely turning off the comment section, but I feel that it's unjustly for you guys because I'm removing, you know, the right that you have to comment and voice basically um, what you guys like or what you guys want to see in regards to spell work videos. So again, I'm not going to do that, but if you do come across those comments, report them so that they could be deleted. All right, let's get into your reading Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing Capricorn? How is this uh, Mercury retrograde treating you? I hope it's treating you guys better than me. My patience is wearing very thin lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really activating my chart so it's very frustrating at the moment um, but anyways let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of June 2021 all right so we have here the five of pentacles we have the queen of wands Oof, king of wands Dealing with fire energy, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. Six of Wands. Wow. Six of Swords. Very, very intriguing and interesting. All right, so you're coming up as the Five of Pentacles, Capricorn. This is an indication of feeling like you are either being ignored or feeling like you started to have certain type of feelings for someone and they've either ghosted you, they've cut off communication, or there was some type of distancing that's happening. Uh, and this is your perspective on it. It's like you're hurt. You're in your feelings because, of course, we all know Capricorns don't fall easily, right? <laughs> but it's almost like they've gained your trust to a certain degree that you started to allow yourself to feel. And the moment you started to feel or embrace that feeling, that connection, there was some type of distancing that created a lot of fears within you. So you went on panic mode or you have been experiencing like being on panic mode because you feel like they withdrew their energy. However, what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you guys, there is a soul type of connection that's happening. And I feel that someone in this connection is either not ready or they still have certain karmic cycles that they need to complete. Now, this is not to say, and I'm not encouraging, I am the first one to never give advice when, it, when we're talking about people that are unsure. I am never one to say, sit there and wait for someone, never. Why? Because time is never ending, never stopping. So what that means is that wasted time is worse than wasted money. That's how I see it. But again, this is a soul type of connection. So whoever isn't ready in this connection is going to have to elevate themselves, whether they're ready or not, whether they want to or not. The universe is synchronizing a lot of things that are unfolding behind the scenes that is going to make them either deal or face with those, to those toxic traits that they have refused to deal with in the past. So there is an elevation. There is a being able to meet you halfway. Um, 
so again, whatever I get two court cards of the same suit, this is a soulmate type of connection for me. So it could be that in this connection, the person that you were dealing with could have felt like a very strong, um, a very strong connection, something that they can really mentally process. It's almost like they can't express the feelings that they feel when they are around you or when they communicate with you. It's so strong that it's undescribable to them because they've never experienced this type of connection. But it's also making them see you for what you really are, which is the goddess or the god that you are. They understand that you're not here to play any games. They understand that in order to be able to meet you halfway, they're going to check or have to check themselves to be able to rise to that occasion and to be able to provide what you're deserving of. So again, I feel that someone in this, and this could be you as well, Capricorn, because it is a general reading, but there is definitely a lot of spiritual experiences that both of you guys have been going through or will be going through. Now you do have the six of wands, so there is victory in this connection. There is a reconnection. There is a being able, uh, being able to move forward, but only when they're ready, when they're willing to put in the effort and when they have acknowledged the things that they need to work on themselves in order to be the partner that you deserve. Do you see what I'm saying? So they're giving me a time frame. I want to say around the end, the, the middle or the end of July, there is a conversation that comes up where both of you guys are going to be able to decide where do we go from here moving forward when we're talking about this connection. But there is victory in this. There is the being able to attain or create some type of stability, some type of commitment or higher commitment. But it's only through the action of the elevation that they're going through or that they're going to be propelled to do. And this is something whether they're ready or not, they're going to have to do because the universe is taking care of that. So my advice to you in regards to the situation, pull your energy back, Capricorn. Don't chase them. Don't communicate. Uh, don't look for them. Allow them to be the ones to step up. Allow them to be the ones to show you that they actively want you in their life. Now, let me pull spirit guides. Give me clarity for this five of pentacles. Give me clarity for this five of pentacles. I'm going to pull out a clarity card here with the five of pentacles. Give me clarity for this five of pentacles. Why is this five of pentacles here, spirit guides? Okay. So, yeah. It could be that this person that you're dealing with or have been dealing with pulled away because they're still not completely done or they're still not completely over a person from the past. Um, and it could have been a situation where they were the ones that were denied, meaning they were the ones that were left or cheated on. And this is something that they've been carrying with themselves. So that's something that they need to heal in order to be able to come towards you uh, wanting that higher elevation, that higher commitment. And I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorn. I feel that you intimidate them on many levels. So it could be that they see you financially stable. It could be that they see you with a purpose. Um, they, they know that you know exactly what it is that you want and you're not about those games. I feel that this is still immature type of energy and this is why they're saying uh, there was a separation that needed to happen in order for them to really resolve these issues moving forward so that they can rise to their higher highest vibration uh, again like i said this is a soul type of connection so again i feel like you guys are definitely not over if there's no communication or anything like that it's it's not an ending cycle yet what they're telling you is work on yourself right now capricorn put effort and energy towards your aspirations towards your passions keep yourself busy um, they will be coming back around and trying to contact you and trying to, again, proactively show you through actions that they want you in their lives. So again, be a little bit patient, work on yourself. You can never go wrong whenever we're dealing with a situation that there is a bit of cons inconsistency. Bring it back to you. Bring it back to nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, focusing on your money, focusing on your career focusing on other aspects of your life and you'll see things start to unfold in a positive way. 
All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.